What is Black Mamba? Black Mamba is a steel inverted roller coaster manufactured by B&M. The ride has been named and themed after the venomous snake, Black Mamba. Linking into the name, the track of the ride has been painted black and winds through an African themed area. Riders start their journey climbing the lift hill, which reaches its peak within a large themed building. Several theming elements can be found along the lift as well as inside the building itself. At the top of the climb, the ride measures 26 metres high. Exiting the classic B&M pre-drop, the train banks right and enters an even greater drop of 27 metres. It is here where the coaster reaches its top speed of 80 km per hour. Immediately after the drop, the riders experience the first of four inversions, a vertical loop, which is instantly followed by the second inversion, a zero-g roll. Interestingly, a footbridge has been constructed within the loop, offering great views of the ride. The final two inversions, two corkscrews, can be found later in the layout. Black Mamba opened on the 24th of May 2006 and can be found at Fantasialand, a theme park in Germany. The ride is fittingly located within the Deep in Africa section of the park and features many themed elements that link the ride to the general area. Many of the buildings located around the ride have been constructed in an African style and resemble that of mud architecture. A large amount of decorative features can be found within the ride area. The queue line, as well as several paths around the coaster, make use of a wooden rope fence, further setting the scene. The majority of the layout of Black Mamba takes place below that of ground level. It is approximated that roughly two thirds of the ride is below the ground. Throughout the ride, the trains pass through several ravines and tunnels. This leads to a huge amount of near-miss opportunities. Several elements of the ride cause riders to soar above the large pits, including the multiple inversions. Present in the layout is a one-of-a-kind element, nicknamed a Junior Immelman. A Junior Immelman is similar to that of an Immelman. However, during the element, riders are only rolled to 90 degrees instead of the full 180 degrees. The trains have also been themed to the ride. They feature African patterns as well as a jet black colour that can be linked back to that of the name. Each train seats riders in 8 rows of 4, leading to a total of 32 riders per train. Because of this, as well as the general nature of B&M rides, Black Mamba has a huge throughput of 1,500 riders per hour. The ride experience lasts for roughly 44 seconds, from the first drop to the final brake run. As the riders navigate the underground tunnels, they cover 768 metres of track. When creating new attractions, Fantasialand focuses on both the ride and its theming. Black Mamba is said to have cost roughly 22 million euros to construct, 11 of which were spent on themed elements of the ride. The park's newest attraction, Taron, is set to open later this year. Similar to other rides at Fantasialand, Taron is surrounded by an incredible amount of theming, in the form of very detailed rock work. The theme park is one of many European parks that have set the standard for theme rides outside that of Disney and Universal Studios. Should more theme parks give greater attention to the theming when producing new attractions? What do you think?